What's up everyone? Kevin here from Epic Gardening. We're here with Brigitte from San Diego Seed Company. And we were talking, and it's sort of a silly thing, is when it starts getting to like August or late July even, some people will just say, okay, like it's, I'm done. Yeah, my season. garden's done. Oh, like I didn't have that much success, or I, maybe even I did, I'm just gonna wind it down, which you do what you wanna do in the garden, but if you're, especially if you're in a warmer zone like ours, mm -hmm. why not hack the garden and get like a second summer crop out. So that's what we're talking about today, kind of like yeah. a fall succession planting guide. Yeah, when you live in San Diego, you have this amazing opportunity to plant again uh, late July, early August, and almost have a second summer. So we actually yep. do another round of corn, we do another round of beans, squash, tomatoes, pretty much everything goes again in our garden, which means we have produce all the way until the late fall. Yeah, and let's not leave Let's not leave our zones fives and sixes out to dry. Like you can still plant and then grow under cover as the frost starts yep. to come in. There's there's season extenders that you can use and you can grow shorter season varieties to squeeze in a little bit more, but there's definitely still time. Yeah, so today's date is actually literally August 1st. So we're sort of moving into that late summer. What we were gonna do is just casually plant a little bit of corn to prep for that second summer of corn, but then we're gonna go and show you a couple different stages just so you can see there's still potential to get that second bumper crop out in your garden. Yeah, and I do want to mention, so some people think we're crazy because we actually transplant our corn. Uh, most people direct so, but on our farm, we transplant almost everything because it guarantees uh, success for us. Yeah. So I know that if I transplant it, every single seed or close thereof is gonna come up and we've got some critters in the garden. So this just makes it a little bit easier for us. I'll say, so to that point, a lot of people will say don't transplant your corn and I just didn't have the ability to start from seed because I didn't have any on hand, but I needed it in the ground. Mm -hmm. So I did it, I used a little mycorrhizal inoculant and then they just, boom, they just took yep. right away. The biggest tip I can give you for transplanting your corn is when you pull it out of your little transplant, either six pack or whatever, the, the main root will wrap around really tight. Yep. You can gently unwrap that and pull it down. It's this cute little curly yeah, cube yeah. hangs. And once you do that, then the plant knows that it's free and it will take It'll off. It'll just start going, yeah. Yep. Cool, so this will be very quick and easy. We're just we're just dropping a couple of seeds. Do you do two per hole or do you do one per hole? I know I've got really good seed. <laughs> so I she, do, does, she does run a seed company, guys. Yeah. So I do one per yeah. hole because I don't want to thin later. Right. But if you've got seeds that you're not quite sure like how good they are, then you can do two and you can thin later. Yeah. I try to avoid as much thinning as possible because it's a lot of extra work. And you're growing at a scale that most of us aren't growing at. Yep. So. Yep. Cool, so I mean, it's a dead simple process. We'll do more videos on that but we're gonna hop in and see a couple different stages just so you guys get a sense of what's actually possible as we move into that fall. Hey guys, Jet with San Diego Seed Company. I've got some corn here that I wanna show you because we actually transplanted this on June 16th, okay? Now that's usually when people are in the thick of their gardening, they're not really thinking about succession planting, but I don't know about you, but I like to eat corn all summer long and well into the fall. So as you can tell, you have time in, in San Diego's climate to do a second, and we're actually gonna do a third succession planting of corn that will give us corn well into October. Um, we do a sweet corn variety, and then we also do an ornamental one so we can make our cute little fall display with our pumpkins <laughs> and our corn cobs. Um, but that's the beauty of living in our climate. We'll show them the, the other one. And you're not just succession planting corn for fall either, right? You're doing a lot of different things. Yeah, so we use succession plant all kinds of goodies on our farm because yeah. we want to eat all year long. Um, and I also want to spread out the work a little bit. So this corn is uh, done or, or very close thereof. This is our beautiful glass gem corn. We actually let it cure a little bit longer on the stalks because A, it's for seed and also because it's a popcorn. So it's not a fresh eating corn, um, but we planted this um, beginning of May. So you can see the difference in this versus our second one. And then we'll get another crop of sweet corn for the fall. So don't give up guys, plant your seeds again, make sure you're always succession planting so that you can have food all year long and share it with your friends and your neighbors. So that's it guys, get that second summer out. And if you have any questions about succession planting, like the actual logistics of it, just leave them in the comments and either Bridget or myself will pop in and answer them. But yeah, I mean, 
the time is going to pass anyways. You might as well try, even if you fail or even if you come up across that frost, right? If you're in a colder zone, at least you tried and now you have some more knowledge for next year. So that's been it. Kevin from Epic Gardening here with Bridget from San Diego Seed Company. <laughs> Be sure to check her seeds out there, Epic. Until next time, good luck in the garden and keep on growing.